guys, it's Victoria with Take the Lead. Um, today you're going to be watching my video about low-level e-collar training. I'm working with a particular dog. Her name is Savannah, and she is a very nervous dog. She's real skittish about cars, traffic, strangers, um, anything that really makes her uncomfortable she wants to run from. So uh, in, the, in the next couple clips, you're going to see me practicing some things with her. Um, I'm doing place command, downstays, recall, all outside, all near the road in my backyard. Um, I want to point out that e-collar training is actually a really gentle and uh, very helpful way to train a nervous, or really any dog, but a nervous dog especially, because the communication is so clear and consistent. Um, we start training at a very low level. Most people actually don't even feel the stimulation um, on, on their hands or their arms at the levels that we're teaching dogs. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, mis misconstrued information about e-collar training, but I want people to know that these dogs are learning at really low levels. It's very clear communication, much like how we turn pressure on and off with our prong collars. Uh, it's the same thing. The dog learns how they can control the pressure of the e-collar. Um, in the clips that I'm showing you, Savannah is doing more commands than she is kind of cruising around. E-collar training is great to get an off-leash dog to come back. When you've got a dog out playing in the yard or you know, in a field running around and you call them back and they come immediately um, because you're able to communicate with your dog at a distance. Uh, that's what's so great about it. You can influence your dog from you know 100 feet away and they will turn on a dime and come back to you because you've trained them how to do it. Um, in this particular instance, because Savannah is such a nervous dog, I know that if I gave her the freedom to cruise around, she would just go sit at my front door or my back door and not be anywhere near my yard, the sidewalk, the street, because those things make her uncomfortable. So I'm challenging her by having her practice commands in those uncomfortable situations so that I can get her looking to me for guidance. I'm um, checking in with me, is this okay? How should I feel about this? Um, instead of her just fleeing. The, the goal is to get her in a better state of mind about the things that make her uncomfortable. And we do that by practicing commands, practicing lots of duration, so long periods of time in the commands, and just getting compliance and her understanding that even though we've created distance, you're farther away from me, I'm not holding the leash, I can still help you, you know, feel differently about these situations that make you uncomfortable. So I hope you guys enjoy. It was fun working with Savannah. She really did tur turn around quite a bit in her reactions to things that make her nervous. And you really can see her building more confidence and thinking a lot more about the things that make her nervous. So I hope you enjoy. So she broke command, um, she got up and moved, but I gave her a verbal no, and she went back down. At this point, I actually haven't had to use any e-collar stuff we're trying with just words. I'll use, you know, I'll give her a little reminder if she needs it, but she's getting pretty good with the words, especially considering we're outside. We've got thunder, we've got cars, she's on the outside of my gate. Um, she is wearing the long line because I, you know, we're working with her outside, um, but I'm not holding it, obviously. So, she's doing very well. Savannah, here. Good girl. Good girl. Place. No. Place. Good girl. Again, I said no. I repeated the command. Um, 
because I felt she was a little confused. I gave her some more information, um, and she figured it out. So, good girl. Again, there's a lot going on, but she's doing very well. Thanks for watching. Jake's gonna hear. The dog. Yeah. Down. Down. <laughs>